Welcome to the Jatai Academy. Today we're going to work on some blow drying. We're going to work on blow drying with a brush and today's brush is the Duboa from Jatai. So to get started we need to understand a couple of things about styling hair. The, the first thing is is what really styles hair is heat and tension. Heat softens the hair and makes it easy to pull the natural shape out of it. Tension pulls that natural shape out of it, and then when it cools, it will re-harden in whatever shape that we've introduced it to. So when I'm using a, a seven roll brush like this, the thing that I need to pay attention to is how much tension that I can create with the brush. So I'll take a small section, and it's not just rolling up and smoothing the hair out like that. If I have hair that has a lot of wave or a deep set pattern or calic into it, that's not gonna be enough tension to pull that shape out. So what I wanna do, is I'll brush down on the hair, I'll move slightly to one side or the other, go right back up, and then roll the brush. Now you can tell how much more tension I've created on that, and that tension helps me pull the shape out of it that I don't want and reintroduce the shape that I do want. If I've got too much tension, I just unroll the brush a little bit, and then it makes it easier to roll through. So it's about brushing down, making a hook, pulling through as I follow it with the blow dryer. Now when I start blowing it dry, you're gonna see this motion a lot and it's this hooking motion that creates the tension that allows me to start to style the shape that I want. Again, down, move to the right, up, hook creates the tension. If I don't have the tension, I'm not really styling the hair, I'm just blowing it dry. Now, the more rows of teeth that I have against the head when I hook it, the more tension I'm gonna create. So since this brush is beveled, I could actually only do one row to get tension, or I can do three, five, or all seven to get more tension. The more rows that I have hooked, the more tension that I'm gonna create. So let's start blowing dry, and I'll show you what that looks like. So you notice a little difference there. If I blow straight down, that just makes the hair straight. If I start blowing to the side, that's gonna start introducing movement to it. So whichever way that I start to drag the hair as I'm hooking and blowing dry, that's the way that I'm gonna be introducing movement to it. Now, as I'm going through, I'm doing everything flat across the head to keep the volume down and to keep it smooth. The more tension that I create, the smoother my shape's gonna be. But here in the back, if I want volume to it, then instead of going down against the head, I will, like you can't even hear over the blow dryer, so <laughs> sorry about that. So to get volume in the crown, I'll go straight up in the air and pull that away from the scalp so I can start to create volume where I want. And the more that I spin and turn my brush, the more curl or movement that I'm gonna to introduce to it.
So on this shorter hair underneath, it's really too short for me to grab and kind of control that way. So what I'm doing is I'm going back and forth with the brush and the dryer so that it dries it full out from the scalp and gets rid of any kind of growth patterns or calyx that I don't want because it makes it real neutral. So now that we've finished the blow dry part of it, you can go through and add any kind of product you like to change the texture, to give it some stiffness, to give it some softness, some shine, however you want to polish it off. So let's do that. So we finished our blow dry here. We've got a nice little smooth shape with a little bit of bend to it to give some movement. We got some volume around the crown. We scrubbed out all of the calyx or any kind of inconsistencies in the back to make that smooth and neutral. We got some separation through here. We put a little hairspray and a little bit of texturizing clay into it to help get some separation to it. And I think it looks pretty good. So check out the Jatai Academy. We have all kinds of educational videos on there that will cover fundamental razor cutting into advanced stuff as well. So check it out and let me know what you'd like to see in the future and we will see you next time. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm.